Welcome again, everyone. I'm going to show you and give a brief presentation about the Smart RV Diagnosis and what this feature has the best to offer to our customers. So failures and faults are the most common issues in the power plant. Most of them at AC site can be easily confirmed and recovered since the OEM companies have rich experience in AC operation and maintenance. But at DC side, it seems to be impossible to inspect and recover the faults and failures. On one hand, it is because of the lack of experience of AM people in the maintenance of DC equipment. On the other hand, it is due to the huge quantity of devices and the lack of DC OEM experience. Therefore, most of the failed modules remain untreated in the power plant, resulting in the loss of generated energy. The risk of safety is increased. A study was performed by TUV, which was reported, which reported that 30% of PV plant had severe defects, and 50% of them resulted from panels. Based on the leading technology of string inverter and the understanding of artificial intelligence technology, Huawei Solar Business released the revolutionary function called Smart Eye Vehicle curve diagnosis to help the customers to deal with DC side inspection. Smart IV curve diagnosis has become one of the most powerful tools against difficult OEM and energy loss, which was awarded the terawatt diamond award by the SNAC group as the top 10 highest award. Like most, of, like most semiconductor devices, the output power character Characteristics of the PV modules are determined by many factors such as the PV module status, external light intensity, ambient temperature. When the PV modules are working, the output power decreases due to the faults, light induced degradation, reduction of the received light because of shading or some illumination angle, increase of the working temperature of the PV modules in poor heat transfer conditions. As a result, the output power of one module decreases. Furthermore, the PV modules with low, general, uh, low power generally cause the mismatch loss of the entire string and the energy generation of power plant is further re reduced. As you may see on the, on the curve, at the infant stage, the force of PV modules are usually caused by serious quality problems such as fast degradation of modules cracks which will cause the rapid decretion, decrease of output power of the PV modules. The performance of PV modules is typically stable in the middle of period of operation and the performance degradation caused by faults is usually linear. PV module faults at the end of operations are usually caused by material aging. The impacts on the output power of PV modules directly determines the operating life of the PV plant. So let's go through the, the possible problems of a PV panel. The, the glass of breakage, so-called the shatter glass, is due to the quality of or environmental causes such as bump by a flying rock or material. Shatter glass not only has impact on the output power of one module, but also cause the mismatch loss of strings containing this module. More important is the increased risk of safety because the isolation level decreases largely when the glass is broken. It is easy to cause electrical shock on a rainy day or when water remains on the module surface. Therefore, when glass breakage happens, it is advised to replace the panel as soon as possible. EVA discoloration is the EVA failure is due to the EVA quality or the encapsulation process, which will lead to the decrease of incident light into the module and hence reduce the output power. The cell crack is the most common failure due to the poor transportation or installation, which has very strong impact on the power output of the module. Such kinds of modules should be replaced immediately. However, it is too difficult to find out at all modules with cell crack in the power plant. 
even for 0.1%, no inexpensive approach is available. Sometimes, style crack is not obvious and thus called hidden cracks. Both cracks and hidden cracks are one of high risk for entire plant because they can both lead to the hotspot and probably the firing of modules. The so-called snail trails is caused by hidden crack which causes the oxidation of silver around the hidden cracks. The, sm the snail trails may introduce the rapid degradation of PV modules. Metal corrosion is the result of oxidation of metal in their connection in humid environment after water invades into the module capsulation. As a result, the resistance of module increases largely and the performance is reduced dramatically. Moreover, when this module is con connected in the string, it causes a harmful effect on the string performance by introducing mismatch. The backshield chalking stems from the quality of backshield that causes the invasion of water into the module, which indicates prob uh, prob probable PID and metal corrosion as a result. The so-called PID effect, the potential induced degradation. Some PV modules in the PV system have a negative potential to earth and also have this negative potential uh, to a grounding system. Due to this potential, uh, a difference in node ions flows from the glass plate into the semiconductor material, material of the solar cell and contaminate, contaminate these cells. These anode ions have a strong negative influence on the performance of the PV cell. It's, this effect is called polarization. As a result, solar cells become inactive and generate less of electricity. One cause people are inclined to acknowledge is temperature and humidity. So this is the case for Greece. The degree of PID effects active, activity varies from the temperature and humidity level. The degradation is also related to the, to the degree of contamination of the glass plate caused by objects that are electrically conductive, acidic, alkaline, or ionic. Hotspots are when shading or non-uniformity occurs on one module. This is very high reverse bias across a very small region, which causes high temperature and so-called hotspots. When the hotspots last for a period, the breakdown of a solar cell encapsulated inside the module occurs, which probably leads to fire. Apart from visual inspection and thermal imaging, the IVR curve is one of the effective approach that can detect failure of a module or a string. For traditional IVR curve testing, Specific equipment is required for offline testing. The procedure is shown in the right picture. In practice, 0.1% to 10% of the module or 5 to 50% of strings will be selected for testing by random. Two professionals firstly shut down the inverter or the DC box, disconnect target module or string by unplugging the terminals, connecting the module or string to the device and then operate the device, record the results and reconnect the module or string to the inverter or DC box. Professionals do the analysis afterward and output a diagnosis report. Typically one megawatt peak plant with 1% module sampling or 10% string sampling needs one to two man days to output the report, which is needed, which is indeed dependent on the plant size and plant type. The disadvantages of this traditional approach is low sampling rate, poor data quantity or poor data quality due to the uncertainty of testing, inconvenience and high safety risk for rooftop, mountain, lake, plants and high cost of for labor. The, the smart string IV scanning with high, precis high precision can be achieved through high, preci high precision signal sampling and voltage current controlling during fast scanning. After receiving the command of IV scanning, the inverter will control each MBPT to go to open circuit point separately. 
reuse the string voltage linearly and collect voltage and current values simultaneously. Repeat the voltage decreasing and data collecting until the voltage is close to zero, after which there will be a forward scanning from the point close to the short circuit to the point of open circuit in order to increase the precision and collect more than 126 points of data. All this process is done under just one second for each strings and just under 15 minutes for 100 megawatt power plant uh, is done so it can be performed due to the fact more than 200 strings can be scanned simultaneously. And if we consider the energy loss of these two procedure for the traditional IV scanning, you may see that in uh, in one in the, in a five or seven days, uh, 100, 100 megawatt testing with a five percent and sampling rate, the energy loss is more than 1,000 kilowatt. But with a smart IV current testing, due to the fact that it is fast, it causes almost zero energy loss. The diagnosis is carried out based on the assumption that most of the PV modules are unlikely to have one particular failure. Therefore, the true irradiance and module temperature for the solar cells encapsulated in the module can be calculated according to the effective data calculated during IVQ scanning and uploaded to Huawei management system, which will then compare these data with the built in physical models and judge whether these faults are whether these are faults or not in the strings through mode recognition with the with the trained and with the help of artificial intelligence model built in any type of faults related to electrical performance has their unique signals after translating string iv curve features to characteristics it is easy to determine whether the strings are abnormal and cause, and what is the causes behind them. As it is shown in the table, smart IV curve diagnosis can recognize forwarding kind of strings, forwarding kind of faults, and possible fault causes. And uh, this procedure, this IV curve scanning, is certified and verified by TUV. With over 5000 megawatt application this tool is, is this tool can be called a global player this means the available database and the know-how is constantly growing it is known in one place for example one power plant in china had severe glass breakage and with the dyno system 0.6 usd cent per watt saving was generated just by itself and also another another case where uh, a 12 megawatt power plant in China had run this diagnosis and uh, the result was that uh, 34 diode has uh, a short circuit in, 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 40, 40, in 34 strings. So the, the impacts of failures on yield and system security are demonstrated which are referred to the which are referred to give the OEM suggestions in the Huawei management system. For example, if abnormal PV module output current occurs in diagnose report, the cause with the highest possibility of break is breakage of glass. Since this can take OEM risk, the suggested OEM strategy will be replace the module. If a slight current mismatch in string occurs, take it as a minor issue and just keep on watching the evaluation of such force. There are four output documents after diagnosis. The first one is the texture report, the diagnosis report, the OEM report, and the original data, data in an Excel sheet. This can be generated. The detection report consists of the plant base information, evaluation of the PV string failure rate, and the fault type analysis. As you may say on this picture, the, 
the fault type is uh, mostly, so more than 15% is PV module output current abnormal, which might be the cause of shade or glass breakage. But almost 20% was contributed by the current mismatch in the PV string, which might be a shade or dust or some soiling on the PV module. The diagnosis report consists of overview on the diagnosis, PV string IV curve details, and PV string performance data details. As you may see, this is output in the in the given page on the right hand side. The MPPT curve and the IV curve is displayed. For example, when a 50 mega plant with a complex terrain was tested with the total number of 3,960 strings, 188 strings were found 40, which is 4.7% 4 of all strings. The OEM report provides the exact location of string faults, including suggestion for the customers to assess and confirm the faults. So in a 50 mega power plant, it becomes a much more easier task to repair the possible failure. One found problem was a normal curve. The near MPPT was might be a possible of hotspot. On the right side, you may see the handling suggestion given in the report. As you can see, the test number four is scan the PV module with an infrared camera. Just after the scanning, it was found that one of the panel had a hotspot. So the fault was found and repaired. Another problem was abnormal string voltage. You can see the voltage is higher than expected, almost 800, which is in these circumstances, this uh, open, open circuit voltage is very abnormal. It is not unique. It is unique in this case. The reason might be a faulty diode. Due to the fact the exact string is pointed out in the document, the OEM personnel can easily locate the panel in a large power plant. This is also done by the help of the infrared imaging. So the issue was solved. The last problem was an abnormal current, which could be a reason of shading or broken glass. OEM personnel, again, easily find the root cause, which was an object that cast its shadow to the panel. So as I mentioned, this was a 50 megawatt plant, and uh, this diagnose helped to overcome this problem quite easily. To summarize the procedure, first, the IVIC of diagnose has to be carried out remotely on the Fusion Solar web application. It can be done by anyone who is able to operate the Fusion Solar system. First, it has to be, first, uh, all the data has to be given to the system, the panel, the panel data and the string data to match it. The output will be the diagnose reports from which the OEM can start to verify the faults on the site and then handling and recover can start. So by the end of the day, all the problems can be mitigated. So thank you for your attention and please feel free, please 